so that's the generator running the diesel generator uh, I think that's five uh, kilowatt so that's running very nicely running away is it five kilowatt Richard yeah yeah five kilowatt yeah okay so that's the generator running which will Richard was originally from uh, seagoing boats, wasn't it? It was from a company called Studer. Studer, yeah. They were specialists in Sweden for electronics and everything for ocean going yachts. Okay. Shall we turn that Jenny off and you can tell us a bit more about the electrics? Yeah. So Richard can turn the generator off. Right, you can shut it down. Press okay. The, press the stop button. So press the stop button. Okay, so that's nice and easy. And then what we've got to do is switch off the fuel. The fuel. So, so the it's fuel. all labelled, Richard's labelled everything. Yeah. The generator. And that's, that's all done. Yeah. And then the... There's a... A pipe that comes through from outside with a protected grill. Yeah. So it doesn't suck in rubbish. Okay. And there's a filter here. Yeah. All right, and that at the moment is open, so we'll put Just it close at it right off. angles yeah. and show it. And that's, that's closed it. off. It's done. Okay. And we've switched the generator fuel off. Fuel off, so that's okay. And then every so often, because it feeds the engine, there's a big fuel tank underneath. Yeah. We've got a very special. If we just ease back a little bit. We've got a very special fuel gauge. This will be allowed. Because the because the fuel is deep down. Yeah. So we made our own fuel gauge. Okay. And there we are. Ah, okay. Quarter tank, half a tank, three quarter tank, brilliant tank. At the moment, it's got half a tank. Half a tank, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. So that. That just slides in that. Slides in here. I have a I have a theory that if you can make something that works yeah. and does a job, but it, it's different and it works better, then I'll have a go at it. That's brilliant. The electrics then, so did you say that the owner of the company wants to get involved with the electrics on this boat? Yes, yeah. very much so. The company that I've, I've got all the bits through, other than the... Um, Vitron. The Vitron. But all the Studer stuff and everything else, all of that has come from a company called Advance Yachts. Okay. And their, their main headquarters are at Romsey. You can look it up on Google no trouble at all okay and he supplied the batteries the big batteries and the smaller ones supplies the um generator and all of the all of the bits and bobs that went with it okay and it all flushes out nicely I had to do it i didn't want it with all rubber pipes so i had some people that i knew when i was doing the school school designs okay. and building schools just to keep me out of mischief and I, they gave me some off cuts and fittings and so I did it in brass because I it's thought lovely. it would go nice with the rest. So just tell us a bit about the alternator. Yeah, now the alternator, the alternator, if I walk around there and get down in there, I should be able to tell you more. Thanks for this, we should really appreciate it. It's all right. The original alternator is down here. Yeah. But it's isolated. Okay. And it was just had a little, little drive belt um, with a cog that was on the front there. But there was no way that the engine itself could be used, which was a great pity, to, to produce 
electricity and charge up the batteries. So we had an idea which hadn't been done before. People have tried it, but not success. They tried it with pulleys and goodness knows what. So what we thought is if we put a shelf here, mm -hmm. that's tight under, and then instead of putting the alternator up here, so that we had a belt coming up this way, a little spider there. So we put it underneath to get it down out of the way. And then we had a special belt. I can't quite, yes I can, I can just get it. So yeah. you can see it, it's got eight grooves on the belt. Okay. And the pulley that's on this has got eight grooves as well. And when we put the alternator, 24 volts is a very good one. When we got the alternator fitted here, we had to have it exactly, the shaft of the alternator, absolutely parallel with the shaft as it would be in the Kelvin engine. So that you had an absolute right angle connection with the belt. And just for amusement and also proving, everybody that have seen it say, well, surely the belt comes off. Well, what we did is we didn't take, we get the dust off everywhere else, but we don't take the dust off of the outside of the flywheel here. Right. And we've got eight little markers on there. And that belt has never moved from there. Brilliant. Uh, since we fitted it. So you did that with Craig, the help from Craig and Phil, didn't you, from RW Davis? They, they helped yeah, you with that? Yeah, I, I had the idea, and they came up with the with the brains, and then Craig said, right, we're going to give you some. I've worked for them for a long time when I retired from teaching, and they knew that I could do woodwork because I'd made doors for the boat. I'd made the cupboards and things and that, and they knew I could do that. They knew I could do electrics. They could knew how to do plumbing and all the rest, and they they were very very good, and we they knew other people that that had um, Northwich traders and had tried to do this, but they were doing it with pulleys and this and that and two or three belts. So is this a one-off then, Richard? Nobody else has done it. No, like done it yet, yeah. That we know of. It. it, it some people have seen it and may have taken it up. Yeah. But we started it. Now, the, the one thing that was important, and funnily enough, this came from advanced yachts as well. Yeah. Their advice, they said, what you need to do down here is to put what we call a MOSFET diode. Okay. And what it does is the power that comes out of here goes through the diode and then connects up into the batteries. Right, okay. But it, it, it softens it is the best word I could think. And you don't lose any voltage or anything right. on the cables and that. It just works well. And when the engine starts up, there's a little green light that you can see from here yeah. that goes down there. So that lets you know that, that it's charging? Yeah. That's great. Thank you.